Hello everyone. I'd like to plant some seeds for discussion in the Scope Forum and the NSMNSS Tweet Chat about teaching online interview research methods. I'm suggesting five big topics and I hope in the discussion we can generate engaging ways to teach them, whether in online or face-to-face -face classes. I'm sure we'll generate new topics as well. The premise of these topics is that it is essential to plan and design thoughtfully when we intend to collect data online. There are many technology options, each with distinctive characteristics that influence how and when we communicate and the types of data we can collect. So first, let's think about how we can teach students the importance of thinking holistically about research design. Every choice influences other areas of the study. When we teach, sometimes we approach one concept at a time. Here, I suggest starting with the big picture, the whole picture, then working through the parts. The e-interview research framework offers one way to do that. Second, keeping in mind that establishing rapport and trust online may take more than one interaction, introduce the potential for using multiple qualitative methods in a research design. So interviews could include email exchanges or even written questionnaires in addition to the synchronous meeting for an interview. Or the interview could be complemented with observations or user-generated content or posts. Third, how can we help students understand that choosing the information and communication technology is a complex decision. It relates to the type of data, text or verbal, visual or pictures, and how that data serves the purpose of the study. It's, it also relates to the digital literacy, access, and comfort of the participant. So while we have many choices for text-based, video conference, web conference, or virtual environments, we need to carefully make the decision about which or which combination to use in a given study. Fourth, how can we make sure students think through their decisions with ethics in mind? How can they protect the digital identities as well as the humans behind the monitor? What data and types of exchanges are desired such as the use of social media posts or pictures, and what should be included in the consent agreement. Fifth, how can we create meaningful opportunities for students to practice and discuss their experiences? For example, how might they feel about classmates as research partners who Google them and visit their social networking sites? Does that experience change what they might plan to do vis-a-vis -vis collecting data about participants? What types of interviews and what types of exchanges with their research partners make them feel more relaxed and more willing to share? How can they use what they learn from these practice sessions to better plan and design the studies they want to conduct? Okay, it's your turn. What topics would you add and how would you teach them? I hope that you'll join in the discussion in the Scope Forum and the Tweet Chat we'll be holding next week. See you online.